Yo, what is good? Gave you an extra growl on that one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Boy, you stupid. <laughs> How you doing, Jay Wayne? I'm doing swell. This How are you, Casey? I'm doing great. This guy's always got a fucking different team on, like he's a 15-year-old girl. I don't like teams. I just like players, so... Yeah, let's go to Sean, the Dolphins, baby. Let's do it. I like the Jags, and I like the Texans, and Gotta give the me Bills, some Bengals, the Raiders the sprinkle little Tigers in. Mm. You know, go the, Tigers! And, and you know, the uh, Browns have an assistant coach that's brother-in-law one time. And their is oil color is orange. I mean, yeah. goddamn. <laughs> Except they, they're the Browns. How bad, dumb they are. It's a bad team name, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have to change it, though, so <laughs> that's nice for them. All right. So, what's up? Here we go. We got uh, a little last feature of our triple feature here. Got Michael Wentz Pittman. Middle name Wentz. I get very confused because he's number 11. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Got it. Got it. Well, he's he's like Waddle, the 20th wide receiver tied. Yeah, it seems like we may possibly have an emergency or emergency emerging dynasty wide receiver one on our hands here. Um, yeah, look, look, we got stats for you. you. Got stats. I mean, 50 targets. That's good for 27. 22nd. Now Jeez. this is the part where he reads the internet. <laughs> no, this is the stat. This is this is my own. Uh, oh, this is kidding. this is the. <laughs> well, I did get these stats from the internet. Thirty <laughs> fifth, thirty five receptions, good for nineteenth. Five hundred eight yards. That's where he's making up for the WR twenty thirteenth overall. Mm-hmm. Five hundred eight yards, and then one hundred forty two yak. Doing some yakking. Good for twenty sixth overall. Back to your regularly scheduled program. <laughs> and he, so he's doing all this, and Carson Wentz missed a huge portion of the offseason with a broken foot, and then Idiot. comes back and hurts both ankles. So he's been, Carson's been very limited in what's going on, and now it just seems like there's starting to be some chemistry, starting to see some development here, and Michael Pittman and Wentz are getting on the same page here. Bummer you lost Paris Campbell to help open things up. T wise a little banged up, but you know, we don't know how much longer he's gonna be. You know, de facto Pittman's gotta be the number one, but he also is looking like he's emerging in and really taking shape, taking uh control of that situation and and possibly becoming a very strong wide receiver one for the future because Wentz is, you know, all of a sudden playing good ball again, not a turnover machine, only has one turnover and or one one interception, I believe. And on the year. Now nobody cares about Carson Wentz, which by the way, if you know, you should go trade for Carson Wentz now if you're in a super flex league and get yourself a nice uh QB three here and then, you know, possibly parlay him into your QB two as he moves forward with this team and grows uh, into the role. You got Jonathan Taylor, you got Pittman. They're, they're, they're going to add some other pieces there and figure it out. They've been trying. Right. Um, T.Y. has been hurt all year. That's kind of been helping towards the emergence uh, of Pittman here. And, and, and Wentz, like you said, man, he's gaining confidence. Like if you he saw adds that him, running back into his game a little bit, like he had to in that monsoon a little bit there, but if he adds that running back and doesn't play hero ball run, running guy but just adds the running back into there and can and pick up 30 40 yards rushing and a couple rushing TDs he's back to being a a, a very strong start uh fantasy QB wise so a little uh extra overtime here n- little other nugget inside of an emerging dynasty wide receiver one video a great QB3 trade for and Carson Wentz huh, look at that <laughs> boom just end it just end it well, no, I got to show you some okay. pictures from the internet. Take it away. Um, there's Michael Pittman for your mm-hmm. viewing pleasure. Yeah, I thought there might be a problem when he wouldn't give Wentz the 11, and maybe Wentz would just blackball him. Right. Uh, but That doesn't seem like a smart no. move. You might need to give up your number. Yeah. But And now you can get any number you want. Hey, strong. He, he G-checked him a little bit. He was like, yeah, you know what? I'm keeping 11. Yeah. You're coming over here? This is Pittman's show. Yeah. Well, what I like about Pittman is that he's taken a major step forward from his rookie year, 
right? He's only played half the games that he played last year, but he has almost as many catches as last year and more yards. His yards per target and receptions are up, and he's doubled his touchdowns and his fantasy points per game. Hmm. He's seventh in snaps with 90.8% of the snaps played. Hmm. We call that factual production. Yeah, factual production. <laughs> How about that? Tied for fourth in contested catches. Oh, I can't separate. Mm. His body is a separation. Mm. His he's, body's a wonderland. And he's crushing those contested catches. None other than that huge reception for a touchdown where he went up, beasted it, mm-hmm. and, and, and completed it. In the monsoon it. there. In the monsoon. And, and, and the, for Wentz to even throw that ball, I didn't think that he should be throwing it there, but he just said, fuck it. We're going to Went up, this trusted thing. this guy, went and got it. And that whole, the last two drives Put of that game, he was it. just sidearm deliver, doing what he had to do to make completions. And you just saw him like, you saw him like gaining confidence. Mm-hmm. It seemed like over Leading the course the team, of, right? And and they pulled away and won that game. And now Kyle Shanahan should be fired. Um, <laughs> Niner Twitter. I'm kidding. Don't fire Shanahan unless you want to let him come over to the Texans or uh, not the Texans, the uh, the Jags. The Jags could use Shanahan. That'd be fucking <laughs> awesome. How about that? Anyway. Uh, let's see. Tied for fourth in contested catches. 20th in red zone targets. Not, like that. Not bad. Like Just that. Just finding facts that support my argument. Mm-hmm. Zero drops. Mm. Boom. That's factual production. Depending on, you know, I didn't, I don't have PFF subby, so I don't know if PFF, sometimes PFF and fantasy data. Differ. Yeah, but we're holding down it with fantasy data. They're yeah. pretty good. So. Yeah. So, I mean... He's just sh- he's showing out, and it, and it's a little under the radar now. Obviously, he had a big Monday night game, but I mean, you had to man, it was hard to stay up for that game. I don't know. I was. I, are people up that late in general? I guess well, on the West Coast, West they Coast. are. West Coast far superior sports viewing uh, situation. Ah, but you man, imagine the nine thirty a.m. fucking six thirty a.m. with me. London, game. London game, whatever. Six thirty a.m. I mean, whatever. London game, and then Take the other it. game started at ten a.m. Take it. Awesome. 10 a.m. Love it. Yeah. Yeah. 10 a.m. I'm I'm Monday Sun Monday and Sunday nights over at a reasonable time. Like yeah. this is great. Yeah. Kidding me? Hell yeah. I love drinking in the morning. <laughs> That's true. How could you not? All right. Well, let's 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 do some trades real quick. Okay. You giving up a first for Pittman? Sure. All day. <laughs> all day. I've sent out first multiple times in multiple leagues to get Pittman all day. FFPC all day. All right. So you're definitely giving up two twos in Deami Brown. Uh, gee, let me think. <laughs> um, sure. <laughs> These are trades I saw go down. All right, Hertz and AJ Green for Baker and Pittman in the Superflex. Uh, yeah, probably. Be, I mean, obviously Hertz is crushing fantasy points wise, but and Baker's hurt. We uh, we don't know if to, uh, Hertz is super long for a starting position. So it seems like, you know, maybe you're losing some value there, but you, you might end up with a dead asset and hurt. So, yeah, I guess so. I don't necessarily love Baker right now, but been, been a little banged up and, and can be a serviceable uh, super flex quarterback. So. And will probably continue to be a starting quarterback right. in the league, which I'm right. not worried about that. I am a little concerned with Jalen Hurts and his long-term mm-hmm. longevity. Mm-hmm. You'd add, would you add to the first to get Pittman? Um. Uh, yeah, I depends I, I would try to throw in like a you know Renfro yeah like a, a, somebody like that Cole that's scoring Bees. some points or, or a Beasley or a Sanders if if you're trying to just get a little younger Ma- Emmanuel Sanders right. not Miles yeah Emmanuel Sanders yeah. yeah good good clarification there like a, a good kicker in there like, uh-huh. like not a not an actual kicker but like right. a kicker in a trade uh-huh. to put you over the top uh, I've been doing been sending those Throwing Cole Beasley's and Emmanuel Sanders in a lot of teams where I'm trying to get younger and, and get some younger assets as as maybe maybe not the best value trade off, but since you're, nobody's really going to give you what they're worth, like they're they're nice incentive in a trade for somebody who might be losing Pittman and could start a, an Emmanuel Sanders kind of player for the rest of the season. I like that. All right. Well, you got anything else on Pittman? Any no, I mean closing no. thoughts. I just I think I think that you have a really a good nice emerging. Uh, quarterback receiver combo that that could be uh, really strong far into the future here and and it doesn't seem like Pittman necessarily has a ton of buzz um, throughout the entire fantasy community here there's not a whole lot of people that I feel like that are 
we're necessarily screaming for Pittman rookie draft or coming into this season really or even into this season have really been singing his praises so it seemed like there might be some opportunity to still get in there and, and get you some Pittman before he really blows up into into being a, a pretty strong um, receiver for your fantasy team right I like it well I got a couple closing thoughts uh, let's see Ty God has returned to practice. Mm. That's a strong trade candidate. Oh, my God. I need that so bad. For your uh, super flexual just a, production. And, and just about every league I got, I got scooped up some Ty God in the offseason. Tyrod Taylor, that's who we're talking right. about. Right. If you don't know who Ty God absolutely is. ridiculous through or two is it, games. Is it to God? It could be to God. <laughs> um, but, yeah, let me let me get him back. He was, he was on one in the beginning of the season there. So, hopefully, he can come back and return to his form. I like that a lot. Um I like I like a little little tie god love on the end of the show here. Antonio Gibson battling the shin injury. They should just shut him down. He's not a good trade acquisition if you're trying to compete this year, but I love trying to go buy some low down Antonio Gibson yeah, if what, anyone's frustrated. What in the world is going on there? Like just at least shut him down for a couple of weeks leading into the bye and then maybe give him another week off after that. It's not like It's you guys not like Rule's job is at stake either. Like he's he's there. He's Yeah, not Rule. Uh Oh, not Matt Rule. Yeah, uh, Rivera. Ron Rivera rules it. Ron Rivera's old mm-hmm. squad. So yeah, I mean, why not shut him down? But people could be frustrated looking at the fantasy stat line from Gibson, maybe not knowing how that he has a broken bone in his shin mm-hmm. playing through that shit. Uh, so I, I, I like maybe taking some testing the waters on Gibson. Uh, Josh Jacobs, I think you should go trade for Josh Jacobs. Um, we've yeah, been talking just, about him. Just came away with from that last game with a little injury, but seemingly will be fine and comes into a bye this week. Same team, Henry Ruggs. I, I like going and trying to buy some Henry Ruggs. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, Eagles, pretty good defensive okay. secondary. They held him in check. Okay. But I like what Henry Ruggs seems like he's taking a step forward and it, and it hasn't quite exploded. And I, I, I'd be down to acquire some Ruggs. Explosive. For, for real cheap, Rojo, mm. looking good. Probably get another opportunity somewhere next year. Super young. We've been saying this all year long. He's super young. Last year of a contract still. Um, probably going to get another opportunity somewhere. It stays in the doghouse for doing a bunch of dumb little things. But It's a weird doghouse. Easy can, to get in there. Maybe it's a can, big uh, door in that doghouse at Arian Zones. Carve himself out a role and, and would be worth. I like that. Would be That way to bring him back up um, could be worth a little gamble here. And uh, we brought up Samaj P. Ryan. I just want to say his name again. Samaj, let's go. About to have a Samaj Toi later this evening. No, uh, not not us. Your boy Cole Komet. <laughs> He's out on the thirds. Uh, Cole Komet. It's not with you. It's got to be a female. Yeah. No hetero. <laughs> or can you say no hetero? I, I think know. you can say no hetero. Like yeah. you, you, we could discriminate against heterosexuals, right? I'm not sure what the rules are anymore. Yeah. The rules are. There are a lot of rules. <laughs> yeah. Not the grease uh, thing. But your boy Cole Komet. I mean, I just, I, I read. Imagine getting finally, him involved. He finally got some some love, and I knew that had to bring a. Oh, yeah. I loved little, it. Little get, joy to your just heart. Get, get, get him involved. Get, I don't know what the hell is going on over there, but get Cole Komet involved. And then I can make a whole other video on why you should buy Amari Cooper. Mm. But I think you should go buy Amari Cooper. Mm. I'll just leave it at that. All right. That's what you call a tease. Maybe there'll be a video. Maybe there won't. Who I, knows? I don't know. I was ready to go last week. We hit some stumbles. It was t- we were tired. Didn't want to give it a go. But wanted to tell you to go buy Amari Cooper. You know, he's wide receiver 21 right now, only averaging. He's averaging 15.2 points a game. But if you take away that 38.9 game in week one, he's only averaging 10.5 PPRs a game which could have owners frustrated and then he just hit the bye which I think was perfect for him because he's dealing with some nagging injuries didn't play all pre all off season uh, I think he played like 13 snaps in the preseason just to get a little bit of flow for it but didn't have any time to build up anything obviously he's already good with Dak and and, and now Dak's dealing with a calf injury but I love Amari coming off this bye I'm excited to fire him up this week and I'd be doing I'd be down to try and trade for him in redraft or dynasty because he's still a young dude. Worst case scenario, he gets cut by the by the uh, Cowboys, Cowboys, and, and goes and plays for whoever he wants to next year as a twenty seven year old dude. Best case scenario, they they pay him the twenty million he's due next year instead of cutting him, and he's back there with Dak. And them boys are got the best offensive in offense in the league, scoring mad points. So uh, go go trade for Samari Cooper. 
should have just right. made that a separate video. But anyway, wanted to throw that on there. Certainly get it out could before. have. I mean, I'll 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 wrap up with one more. Okay. Khalil Herbert. Seems like some found money here. Yeah. Um, just what do you do? Saw that dollar on the ground, picked it up, didn't have poo yeah. on it. Wasn't a poop dollar. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Now and now with inflation, you know, it's worth like three dollars. Yeah. Or yeah, sure. Um, and it performed well. You put you put you put put it in the stock of Khalil Herbert. It went up. Yeah. Your dollar turned into five dollars. Bought a what couple back page penny stocks. I don't know. You hold tight. You I hold don't know. Tight? That's what I you know I wanted to pose the question of a you know, little bit of foul money here. Do you do you hang on tight and say hey I found maybe I can get a, a nice you know flex play here moving down the line because Damian Williams isn't going to probably stick around. He, he might be Herbert will be the backup to. Seemingly to uh, Montgomery and and probably have get get some decent PT, or do you try to move him to the Montgomery Omer and and just make a little bit of money off this deal? What what could you get for him if you sold him to the Montgomery Omer? I don't know. That's I don't, I don't really I get know. Can I get two, what, three? Give back a three? I I don't know. All I know is he just. Did you do you that know, when he played that first little bit of action on our Discord? I was like, hmm, this guy looks like he's pretty uh, juicy. Did a little whole chit chat with myself there for a minute when when herbert got in the field and then you know just continued to go on and on and then that you know nobody's done what he just did to the bucks in a while um and has has looked really good and so i don't i don't know if you could get pull the two two three swap off to the montgomery owner but i would be um you'd do it i would i would check that out i would check that out put a little um, feel but it's always a dilemma there this is the ever lying you know some and i think you know, couple some people have it. Well, it's foul money. You just play it out, see how it goes, and then other people are hard and fast. Always sell and get what you can, and turn that into another shoot, another get another bullet to shoot another shot. I can see both sides. Um, mm -hmm. I usually play it case by case. I don't think you're I gonna like to love the, having like Herbert the, when Monty comes back. No, but how long does you know? Is how long? Where's how well, long's Monty stay around? I think he's I think he's missed three games, and so he should be back pretty soon uh but he is on his rookie contract which right. you're alluding to i think this is year three right and so he would have one more year one more year where and herbert i think is a late round uh guy so he's yeah. probably on a smaller contract yeah. or cheap ass fucking contract. definitely a cheap contract but yeah but monty's uh monty's got one more year on his rookie deal and he's worth every penny of that and shit maybe they they probably extend him well, I think I think, wouldn't I, extend I think Monty? well, who knows? Uh, they're they got some cap issues over there, um, and they haven't been well run. So it's, they're not like one of those organizations that just found finds money um, and and does that whole situation well. Um, Khalil Herbert has a, a four year deal. Yeah, I think it's just the unrestricted. I think it's just the undrafted free agents that don't have four year deals. I'm pretty sure every drafted Six year player is has four year, four -year three year million deal. over four. Um, so super cheap for them where they could let Monty roll. And while Monty's still there, I think they, they're looking for a, a Robin to his Batman a little bit. Um, so very interesting to me here. I, I like what I see from Herbert. So I almost lean in the found money. Keep it. Keep this one. Um, sometimes I would I'll advise trade immediately. Get get rid of him. Had a good good. Yeah, you know, if you get anything for Dearness Johnson, I'd say trade Dearness Johnson. Mm -hmm. I can't get anything for Dearness Johnson. Herbert seems a little different, a little different case here. Um, I might, I might just kind of hang on to that money. All right. Well, appreciate you guys hanging around. If uh, you haven't thrived yet, definitely hit that thrivefantasy.com or the app in any of your app stores. I just use, thrive to survive, baby. Use the uh, promo code the FFD, all caps. They'll match your monies up to a hundred dollar hairs. Mm -hmm. So uh, go get your gamble on, get your prop on. Use it for a little fantasy advice. Prop up, dog. And uh, you know, if you're watching on YouTube, let me get that subby, no describey, commenty, menty, the menty. Mm. Definitely can't. It's definitely not a commie. I think that's a stretch. <laughs> I will always try to be annoying as I can for your pleasure. And All for right. your pleasure, we'll see you next time. Peace.